ladies and gentlemen, St. Mordecai here with a new series. I know, I just did a Telltale game. I just did a Telltale series. I just completed a Walking Dead, a new, f new Frontier, which was a Telltale game. I know, but I want to play this one too. Okay, sue me. Don't sue me. I don't have money. Um, so yeah, we're going to start this new series called the Batman Telltale series. And I want to see how we do this. He looks badass, though, doesn't he? Jace. Bruce Wayne navigates the treacherous waters of Gotham politics as a series of shocking what is that say? shocking allegation surface while Batman confronts the most notorious crime bugs. Episode one Realm of Shadows uh, we're gonna go with that. Select a belt tech color. What Oh boy. Um, I do like blue a lot. I do like blue a lot. But that yellow. It's tempting. But we're gonna go with the blue. And I forgot to turn subtitles on again. Give me a sec. I always forget to do something. I forget to turn off turn off notifications. I forgot to turn on subtitles. It happens every time. I, I, give me a moment. I will fix it. Jeez. All right. While I'm talking to you guys right now, I hope everyone's doing okay, having a good day. Um, don't give me a minute. Just uh, fixing some stuff real quick. Alright, there we go. That is better. <clears throat> and let me put on subtitles before I continue. Subtitles. Thank you. Alright. Apply those and continue, please. Thank you. Alright. This game series adapts to the choices you make. We'll see. Gotham City, alright. City Hall, 8.32 p.m. We don't know what day it is. Hey, what are you- Oh, well, damn. Jesus. Well, he never made it. Nice insignia there. Nice, nice emblem on the ground. What? That sucks that those are your last words. Dang. Darn thieves. Get it open. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? We'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Shot that dude. Cold blood. Poor guy. Man. Oh, Christ. Commissioner, Go you're the best. Commissioner, I think, is my favorite um, non villainous character. I just, I just like him so much. I don't know why. I just always love the Commissioner watching the animated series. Get back! Get back! Gosh. Jeez, man. Gordon. They're on the 52nd floor. I'm going in. Hey, wait! Wait for backup! Don't Never! Me. Take the stairs. I heard stories, you know. Sent three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Oh, boy. Geronimo! Boof! 
जा रहे I'm Batman. He would say, "Horus, I'm Batman." <laughs> Dang, his poor butt is Bruce, all jacked up. I can't keep doing this. For real? I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Only you. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed. The city is safer now. It's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle it. There goes my dog again. Shit! The hell did he go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. I know you're trying to create a myth. Ouch. But be careful you don't turn into a monster. Oh, Sometimes Alfred. you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! teach you to knock hey girl hey behind you big boy Officers, you don't know me by now. Come on, man. 
How long have I been saving you guys? Seriously? If you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Alfred is also my favorite so uh, non-villainous character. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Why else would I do it? Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Yeah. Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Okay. Oh, she's got claws. Oh dear. I... Jeez, lady, you're trying to kill me. Go to all that trouble for this. Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. Alfred, why you gotta be right all the time, buddy? Really? Come God on, man! <laughs> Don't shoot! Oh, you bastard. No! Wait! Ah, <sighs> great. I had her where I wanted her, and you guys just had to interfere. Trigger happy police guy. Dang it. Oh dear. Okay, don't die now. Criminy. Not my intent. Jeez.
mind us, just an average day. <sighs> Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Eh. Not Good sure point. if it was for my sake or yours. Give up! There's no way out! <laughs> Give me some credit. Bye, Bat. <laughs> How many scratches to the face did he get today? Like two? Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Harsh words, Whoa. Alfred. But you're right. Time to save the city. Why does Alfred always have to be right? Jeez. He's so smart. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Yes, I was like, you know exactly what I'm gonna say. Hi, Bruce. Well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you, thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Foreshadowing. It is not a lie. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. It shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent! We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. So just put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. That's the downside of being rich to that extent. Oh, being all hoity-toity. I don't have time for that. It's too much. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband... Voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. 
I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always <laughs> hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Harvey Dent is our best shot. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes and that grin will win him over. He's gonna need more than that, son. Oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. And don't nice worry, though. Pants, I am uh... not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne, in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, and tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now, it's so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Classy. Mr. Wayne, you've, you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Got myself shaving. Yeah. There we go. Like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh, cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Uh, do excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. 
This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Maybe you can change your mind. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. For reals. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. Mm, fine, I'll try. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. This is Bruce bad. Wood. I know who you are. The guy is gonna sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. I know all of my guests saw me shake his hand. Oh, the world's gonna end. Oh, goodness. <sighs> Jeez. You should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce? You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... Ah, ah, what did I say? Harvey's the only reason I'm meeting with this guy anyway. Might as well be present for what he has to say. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say any will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So. Let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. He said play nice. I am trying my darndest to. Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Do 
Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. Ouch. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Alfred, you're the best. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Almost like 40 minutes later, you finally see the title screen. <laughs> I'm exaggerating. It might have been like maybe 20, 25 minutes, but still. It's me. Could they have written episode one any bigger than that? Good lord. See what she was really after. If you want to read through all of this, I will probably pause. That is a lot of content to watch if you really wanted to. 
was created in order to allow Gotham City's biggest property Are those tickets his parents have to modify Here. and improve the city's aging buildings, some of which have been occupied by families for decades. So if you come home from work tonight and find all your stuff on the street, don't worry. It probably isn't anything you did wrong. And if you can believe it, now you can't even trust the valets. More on this after the break. Mayor Hill says he's tough on crime, but since his election, violence in Gotham has skyrocketed. And when he was presented with legislation that would have dismantled organized crime in the city, he vetoed it, killing Gotham's chance for a safer future. Maybe that's because the rumors of Hill's connections to some of Gotham's most notorious mafia families are true. Another gangster running the city. We right. need a crime fighting hero. With over 200 successes. Holographic lenses, voice modulation. Wayne Enterprises really outdid themselves with this version. But he can't save our city alone. He needs your help. He believes that together we can make a dent in Gotham's crime. And it starts with you. The suit absorbed most of the damage from that gunshot. I've got to protect my back, even from the police. I'm Harvey Dent, and I approve this message. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign think these accusations will be any water with the voters? Will be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's Let's find out who's so important. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. <laughs> I'm afraid you're the best. In a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. looking for this is a map of the east side shoreline but it could mean any number of things money weapons drugs everything flows through that port maybe it's where mayor hill picks up his dry cleaning hmm. can't make sense of it yet there's still plenty of files to decrypt and in the meantime I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly showed interest in you. That's what worries me. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. Oh, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. 
That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay, I... Freaking love I Alfred, man. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. You are. Fortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I... I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but... <laughs> it's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Cobblepot Park, 6.06 a.m. That is not a fun last name to pronounce. Cobblepot. Oi. Too many consonants. Where are you, Oz? I shook hands with them. Just because I shook hands with them, they're like, oh, associating with crime. Bosses. Great. Just great. You're just gonna waste it on booze and drugs, aren't you? Screw it. I'm rich enough. Whatevs. Uh, thank you, sir. You're just gonna waste it on crap. But again, I'm rich enough. <laughs> Running late Good meets late. you by the statue. Well, there's okay. the statue, but... No odds.
Oh, that poor park. This poor park has seen better days. Like, I saw the photo of the park beforehand, and it looked immaculate. Now it's just run down, covered in graffiti, and looking pretty, 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 pretty sad. Well, it isn't what it used to be. Exactly. It looks terrible. Watch Wallet Cash. This goes through you. Hey, you heard it, man. The hell are you waiting for? Huh? You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. The next one kills you. And then. Man. Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're in the moment! Come here! You think that'll do? Stay down! Huh. Oh, good dear. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Oh, well, he just ran face first into that statue. I know that hurt. I know that hurt, too. Oi. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Yeah. You've got more. Good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shaped. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh... Uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mum and Dad, they put so much work in here. Glad they never saw it like this. Well, those were better days. That they were. Yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. And what's left in this flask. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home! That oily... Oh. Wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. It's... politics, Oz. That's how the game is played. I thought you had more integrity than that. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... 
It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprise is owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. First text message that said press conference for new hospital start soon. Gosh. See, being rich, you gotta go to all these events. And it's just like, why? It's like, I'd rather not. I'd rather stay home, enjoy my life. Mr. Dent? Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> oh, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for talk. rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And the rate of death and suicide inside the asylum itself is truly terrifying. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? The button. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we can put a dent in crime. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm, uh... Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. 
With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I say we leave the asylum standing as a reminder that we can do better. This time we won't fail those who need us most. All right, who's up next? Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please, keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Oh boy. Care to comment? <sighs> and did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the oh, this is bad. True? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne! Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. What? Why are they in the manor? Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. Oh, dear. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill, in the rain, with skates on. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Need to be the guy doing your taxes. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. The DA is going to hear about this. Uh, unless Harvey becomes a mayor, there's not much he can do. Can't smile this thing to death. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Well, besides the fact that I'm Batman, no, no, no pressure. What are you breaking? <sighs> Did you just break a frame of my parents? Please don't tell me it's a photo of my parents. Because if it is, come on, man. Of course it is. Jeez. Ruth, <sighs> oh, stay back. Take whatever you want. 
it. You... you don't have to do this. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... This is the second time you've shown up uninvited. Well, it's difficult to book a meeting with you. Well, I enjoy my privacy. Enjoyed. Past tense. Sorry, but if the press has their way, you're not gonna have any for a while. Wonderful. Listen, Bruce, a scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. Of course it does. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Is that so? Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. I appreciate the offer, Miss Vale, but trying to say I'm the good guy here Instantly makes me look makes like you the look bad guy. Exactly. I get it. So let me say it for you. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it Probably Falcone's ass. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball and ran. Not every day you get to go after a Wayne. Well, first guess, nosy reporters. The public's fascinated with you, Mr. Wayne. A scandal like this, it's a reporter's dream. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Great. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage you can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. Turn it off, Miss Vale. Oh, but Bruce... Until I know what's really going on, I am not speaking to the press again. Yeah, I want to be sure. It'll probably blow up in my face later, but still, I want to be sure. You're going to beat this, Bruce. Thank you. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family? We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Agreed. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Again, you're right, Alfred. You're always friggin' right. Nice. Hey, Triste. In Spanish, Triste means sad. So it's a sad cafe. 5.23 p.m. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. You tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah. Then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. 
Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. You should probably distance yourself from me. What? No, no, I can't do that. Well, you may have to. Don't say that. You... There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. Why do you have a mark on your face? You're the cat lady. Are you kidding me? You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I think we'd both welcome a change of topic. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, You oh, recall? Sorry. Selena's new to town. Don't you? I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. I'd take that ride. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. I was mugged. Mm. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. Mm. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. It's not your fault. Well, that's terrible. Did they catch the guy? Not yet. But if they don't, I will. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh... Excuse me a moment. Hey, it's oh, Harvey. Oh boy, are we gonna really reveal who we are? Or the fact that we know each other? Nice to meet the real you. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? Someone has to be the good guy. I suppose you think that makes me a bad girl? Well, aren't you? You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, your life. Like made your bed. No. We've made this bed, and I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. 
If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. In fact, I spend most of my time avoiding them. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> Not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. Don't have it with me. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Oh boy. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Ah, oh, that's a bad idea. Don't screw it up. Sure. No pressure at all. It's fine. I'm Batman. I got this. Totally. That would be Alfred, a great poster I'm just now. That would have been nice. Eastside Dock, 6.44 p.m. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. Gosh, what happened here? Oh my goodness. Bodies everywhere. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Oh my goodness, intestines and all. Great. Nothing left to bury. That is quite disturbing. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert. Not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Agreed. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Let's see something real quick. Mm. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. That's not good. Send the drones hunting. 
I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Heck are we linking this to? It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. There has to be something that this can link to. What is this? Something was here when the explosion occurred. Someone drove off after the explosion. like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Badly burned, but the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What, what did this? That sounds creepy AF. Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. That is totally creepy. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. It's totally creepy, Mike. Jeez. What else is there to look at? Oh my goodness. These guys had some gruesome, gruesome deaths here. Okay, let's see. So we got a ripped up face. Let's go with these and these. Maybe. The cop shredded this merc to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Then you have these. And we're gonna 
gonna link you with the thing that's in the, uh, the canister over here. This thing. Bop. Yes! I know things. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at the local gun store. It appears military. Have you put it together? Yes. Are we about to see it all play out? Oh, that's cool. Here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. It was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. for a spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Did he go out the window? Hmm. Killing time. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Ray stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. No, Coney. Why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing! Oh, don't make me beat it out of you. You can't make me talk! Talk, and I spare you an ambulance ride. The police won't offer the same. Not to a cop killer. Rather chance them than talk to a clown like you. <sighs> I always want to do it the hard way. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break! Your bones will. Do I have to? Please tell me I don't have to. True what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. 
You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. I ain't scared of you, man. Tell me. The Catwoman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Container by container. Someone must have heard us, called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. Please don't, oh God! I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! They're some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Falcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an animal! I was just here for a pickup! I swear! You're passing! Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here! I think I need to call the coroner instead. It's Montoya. Send the cleanup unit to the docks. Warehouse 133. tried to kill me. Who, who tried to kill you? The... bad man. You're taking this too far, Bruce. I was non-violent, I got the information out of him, and I didn't have to even hurt him, okay? I'm trying very hard. To not beat everybody up to a pulp. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. No, I didn't. He's fine. It's a lie. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time, it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wade. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. Oh, Alfred. He's such sweeties. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again, so long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores, or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. Let's see what's so important on this drive over here. Well, I'm not even going to read the codex entries. We're just going to go straight to the uh, to the info here, please. Thank you. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. 
And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? Falcone's been involved in everything. But it goes back years. You see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. Wow. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? It's a very good question. This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Commissioner Lieutenant Gordon. Gordon. Well, he's not even commissioner yet. Fine, the Lieutenant. Force what about that reporter from the Gazette? Miss Vale? Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Gordon, for sure. The cops are on the front lines of this war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. Correct. A wise decision, sir. Thank you. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police. And Batman... By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. It's about to go down. Oh boy. This, this is a silver bullet. And it's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Why Still, is your head so turned that thing. way? Your poor Why neck. give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. Dude, your neck. Everyone on the force will too. We've been looking for this kind of firepower for years. I heard you were the last honest man on the force. No need to blow smoke. I got enough cancer coming my way as it is. But thank you. Honestly. Knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. <laughs> I'll sleep like a goddamn baby. For once. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. I wasn't so asking you, should you know to be. This isn't going to change a thing about the investigation of your family. That's fine. Wayne's always supported the Gotham police. So I like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. Until we find nothing, though, I gotta play bad cop. There are no strings attached. I just want Falcone gone. You and me both. I'm tired of staring at his mugshot. I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant? Hey, stick to Jim. Okay. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Though you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car.
so freaking cool. That vehicle cannot be street legal. It just can't. It's too dark, way too tinted. Skyline Club, 9.19 p.m. All of a sudden, it's raining now. Great. The drone's cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. Good point of entry. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh. Terrible. <laughs> You're cute. So, uh, are you and Mom? Not anymore, I'm not. That's funny. You make your rounds? Yeah, no broken bones. Still healing from the last time, I bet. All it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my ass. I know you burned powder tonight. The whole city can smell it. Nothing here. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. A red rose after tonight. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Agreed. Four armed guards. Stealth, not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. Hmm. Couple of options for taking this guy down. Interesting. Bruce, have you 
formulated your plan of attack. Yep. I'm going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. so badly. Gadgets are no joke. Answers now. The chemicals. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The White Rose. You think I wanted to leave you here? <laughs> yeah, something reeks about this old thing. And it is a dead bat. I still want to play games. We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals you're so riled up about, they're mine, all right? Let's 
someone who's trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Ah. Gangsters in Gotham! <laughs> Holy crap. Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! That's heartbreaking news. Oh, jeez, Bruce. What the heck? Our parents are gangsters. Oh, Bruce. You cannot catch a break. Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years. But after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about. The Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, Seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone, uh, maybe just as crooked as his parents. Wayne even geez. refused to go on record when asked to defend his family's legacy. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. Suit. The car. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built! created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! That's a good... That's a good question. Does Alfred even know something? Oh, man. Is the end of episode one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh dear. Did I stick up for Harvey in front of Falcone? I did, as lo along with 67.1% of players. Did I provide a quote for Vicky's story? A lot of people decided to quote. I'm in the minority here. I chose a blackout. Mm. 
I chose a blackout because I didn't want to say something that uh, could incriminate me further, but the fact of not saying anything, I guess, blew up in my face too. Did you break the shooter's arm? You and 51.3% of players showed mercy. I wasn't gonna hurt him. I was like, look, I got the information I wanted. We're good. Okay, good. Who did you give the Falcone data to? You and 72.4 players gave the Falcone data to Lieutenant Gordon. Yeah. How did Batman deal with Falcone at the end? Myself and 82% of players showed restraint. Can you imagine beating up Falcone on friggin' national television? That would have been all the bad. Oh, goodness gracious. Just jeez. Gotta be kidding me. When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what Thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. The evidence you brought me on Falcone held up. Maybe I misjudged you. Now Batman's beating up mobsters, too. I wonder who he's after next. Hell of a view. Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham? I have to... distance myself. Didn't I tell him to do that from the beginning? I will find the truth. Did I not tell Harvey to do that from the beginning? Distance yourself from me. And he says no. Anyone who stands in my way. Hopefully he does what I said I wanted him to do. Nice. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching episode one of Batman and Telltale series. I am very intrigued by it. I hope you guys liked it. If you like it, please leave a like. And if you want to see the next episode, please stay tuned, subscribe, because I'll be uploading the next episode tomorrow. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment saying what I could work on better or not. I don't know, up to you, let me know. And uh, see you guys tomorrow. Happy gaming, everybody. Saint Mordecai out.